Which one is the best version of me? Find out in this video. What is up everybody, Nick Lego Stava here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a massive comparison of the brand new Transformers Legacy Armada Starscream versus the original Transformers Armada Toyline Starscream and the Deluxe Class Generations Starscream. Now this video is probably going to take a while, but it's going to be an in-depth review comparison of all three of these. I'm going to have many different size comparisons, new and old, and I'm going to be showing off the articulation, the pros and cons of each, and them in all of their, their alt modes. So let's go. So right off the bat, the brand new one versus the original one. Now look at the difference here. You can just see the difference in proportions and of course size. The brand new one is a little bit smaller than I thought he would be. I kind of thought that he would be, at least his head would be a little bit, like I thought that he would be a little bit closer to the size of the original here. But right off the bat, you can already see that this is, <laughs> this is going to be way more articulated than this. He has a swivel at the bicep. His shoulder goes up and down and out. He has an ankle tilt that's not like super aggressive, but it does do that. And it also has some uh, forward and back motion as well, which is also important. But the plastic on the shins is honestly lower quality than I thought. That feels like kind of KOE plastic. Sad to see. Same with the thighs. Feels a little bit KOE. Now this may be an upscale of the Generations one in some aspects, at least in transformation. But we'll see that even more so later in the video. But I'm just looking at these thighs. And it kind of just looks like they upscaled those thighs, at least the bottom part, and added some more detail to it. But then up here, they leave this part oddly, like, barren, as where the Generations one here has that extra thigh detail that goes up. So that's kind of a strange omission there, as well as the original toy. It has that kind of shaping there. So definitely strange on the new Legacy one. But right here, the articulation. The shoulder does have a swivel. It does not move up and down at all on this guy. When I got this a couple years ago, I bought a major like Armada bundle and I was kind of mad because I paid like kind of upper prices for these and this was like one of the springs is broke you'll see later. I just, I'm so pissed with that seller still. And he also didn't throw in one of the characters that I paid for in the bundle, which pisses me off. But how the noses flip out here, this has another step here. You'll see that later, but those do pop in to be ever so I'll also show the animation model later in the video and then uh, over here does he have wrist rotation no he does not have wrist rotation so I don't believe any of these Armada star screens have wrist rotation and for him being one with the blade uh, it is sad to see that he does not have wrist rotation that is a strange omission again on the new one and then over here back to the original one Let's flip that back down he also has his Minicon. That's another omission that I really would have liked to have seen with the Legacy one here. I really wish that he came with his Minicon Swindle. So let's pop this apart, transform up his Minicon, and then show the new one with the old Minicon. So that still looks good with him, even though this Starscream is smaller. Still looks good. With the Armada one, then you kind of get to an area where yeah that was was definitely too small when i got this i definitely thought he was going to be bigger but yeah this has light piping right there you can see it's decent light piping but it is pretty much the entire back of his head and then uh the new one is not light piped but there is a strange qc issue on mine here his head likes to look up like that and like when i try to put it down it literally pops back up most of the time look at that I mean, I could probably fiddle around with it or pop the head off and sand that down in some area or something. But it's, I think it's due to how the ball joint on the head is on the new Legacy Starscream. Because right here, you can see it's just pegged in in the back. Rather than how they usually have the ball joint in the middle of the head. So, very strange there. But yeah, it's kind of... Likes to keep popping up on me, which is annoying. But other than that, let's see. You do have these big gaps in the original Armada Starscream right on the front of the figure. Kind of shocking, you know, considering how these were bricks that just looked pretty decent. <laughs> Not as much articulation. There is some. Let's get to the legs, and then I'll compare the legs to all the other ones. So the original one did have a swivel around the knee area. He did have ratcheted joints at the knee. I mean, I do love ratcheted joints at the knee. Very deep knee bend because the entire back of the legs are massively hollow like that. 
as well. Uh, you do have rolling landing gear that you'll also see in alt mode. Yes, there he is. I'm knocking him over. I mean, I'm comparing three figures in one video. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be pretty sporadic. And also, this flips up and down. That is one thing. The original definitely is a shelf hog. He is a deep shelf hog. You can just see right there how far that goes off on the back. Yes, the cannons do flip forward, which I'll show you in a moment. But look at that. That does not flip down. Yes, he didn't really flip them down in a show, I don't think. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't remember exactly. I watched Armada like two years ago or so, and I also played the game. And I'm also going to compare this to the game model later in the video. There's a lot to show in this video, so hopefully you stay tuned and tell me what you're thinking so far. The accessories for the new one, he comes with these. The original accessories for this one, I think he came with uh, his Minicon. Well, I know he came with his Minicon. And then he came with missiles. I don't have the missiles. Those are missing, even though the seller, when I bought this said everything was complete so yeah that's i really wish i remembered that seller's name right now to tell you to never buy from that person because that really made me mad when i got that armada bundle but i mean i was happy to get the figures but i was mad that i overpaid and that there was stuff missing and it was just a mess so like i said the reason why i think some of this is upscaled from the generations one here is you can see the articulation is pretty comparable to it like the, he has that swivel there he has the up and down there he also has some molded in detail there it kind of it eventually cuts off but it does have that molded in detail and this one does not have that that would have been kind of cool to see to have that detailing in there and then as well you have the swivel there you have some like kind of piston details on his shoulder and then his arms kind of just do that his arms are double jointed so they definitely did change a lot if they upscaled some of that design like i said i don't know for sure that's just kind of my guess because they do look pretty similar they changed a lot but the the transformation scheme kind of seems pretty similar maybe they just learned a lot from this he does not have ankle tilt the generations one they are kind of molded in on an a stance let's back that up some more there yeah they're kind of molded in on an a stance and then his head ball joint doesn't have that issue but it does not really lock in very well so yeah it's just kind of annoying this figure is pretty decent he also has his cannons that flip up and they do launch i'm going to launch this and hopefully not lose it so those launch pretty good for just being friction missiles i did dig those out of a freaking kibble bag just to show them in this video he has two mini con ports up top the original one has the original mini con port back there for the gimmick and then he has two on each arm this does not have any mini con ports on it another major lost opportunity like i really do like this figure but there's definitely some caveats with it it's like the legacy star screen i thought it was going to be amazing i mean it's pretty good but is it really as amazing as it could have been man it's definitely a missed opportunity there are some mini con ports on the sword itself if you just want to like peg them on there and i'm pretty sure i mean i'm about 100 sure that a mini con will fit on there so that's how you could get a mini con on him uh, I will be doing 3D print things to just make mini contours for him. So yes, there's that. And then he has his sword blade that's formed from his wing on the original one here. It's usually missing on a lot of these, but at least mine freaking had that. So there is the original sword versus the new one that's just molded. I do kind of like that it's a separate piece. But all in all, coming with this little star saber, this is pretty dinky. I really, really wish that they would have just done a mini con even if it was more simplistic than this and just like flip two things out like the target master that came with the new uh legacy piece or not piece keeper point blank that would have been amazing to see but yeah the sword flipping out i mean this is more animation accurate how this sword flipped out and then in the animation they showed him without his wing on so that is more animation accurate i always thought it was pretty strange though so i'm fine with that omission and them giving the sword blade like this it does definitely need some paint i'm definitely going to be painting that up how it needs to be it's also strange how the hands are the red molded plastic and then they're painted black it's always annoying when they do stuff like that it just adds the paint shipping but look at this what a concept on the brand new legacy one right here these panels flip down and the hand flips in there instead of having a major underarm gap that is great to see, especially on a Voyager. Very happy about that. This is about to cut me off. I'm going to piece these clips together. But stay tuned. Size comparisons and all that coming up soon. Oh my god, this leg does not want to stay on. Getting into more detail here. So the wings on all of these are actually all articulated in their robot modes. 
these can flip up and down. These are on a ball joint. They can also go back like that. So he can look like he's like jetting through the air very fast, even in robot mode. And he also has his swords. He has two of these. I'm just gonna pop one off for simplicity's sake, but he does come with two of these energon looking swords that he can pop into his hands and they do flip out like that so that's pretty cool that you get two of those you do get two swords with a new one like i said this is pretty dinky here is a 3d printed one i eventually want to have an led system that i want to add to this and then have the blade be transparent blue or red for whatever faction is holding it but yeah there's that compared to the 3d printed one it's it's pretty dinky but i mean it is a nice inclusion really wish it could have come with like a really simplistic mini con or fixed a few other things instead of this it's nice to see but i'd rather have seen this with a bigger character and then the sword be bigger you know later on because i know they're going to do more armada characters in legacy so going on from there this also has articulated wings forward and back they're not on a ball joint though they're on like a, a pendant section there and they're like that that go forward both of them do that and then over here and it's also i have these like from smallest to biggest it's hilarious how there's like it literally just goes up in steps <laughs> and then yeah both of these are articulated that, that's popped off there but these just swivel forward and back like that and the backs of these are massive waffle houses so yeah they have been doing massive hollowness for a long time but i mean this is a massive chunky heavy figure still so here we go let's do the mini con feature on star screen here hopefully it actually activates let me uh kind of push this window back in there so he can actually do this so you'll see one of them flips up you just push the mini con back there my other one does not flip up that spring is broken there still pissed off about that I flip that up manually and he would have missiles that are the spring kind but sadly I do not have those but he would have had that he has some more paint apps on the back here the new one does not have any of those paint apps it's just all red back there and then up top here, he has the gray on top. He does not have the gray on top of the wings. And then he does have the gray right there. And then he doesn't have the gray right there. They're not spring loaded on the new one. Like I said, they all flip up. Even this whole back section flips up. It's kind of hard to be doing this whole back section. Let me set this back down. Let's flip these back in. It is nice that they didn't just paint that black, that they also painted the yellow in there. That is really nice to see. Let's flip the original one back up on that side. Nicely accurate to that as well. The wings greatly don't have the hollowness right on the side of them. That's also great to see on this one. That's definitely a, an improvement over the old one. The old one, of course, like I said, it has no feet articulation at all. They're unpainted as well. That was definitely even a strange omission back on the Armada one on the original. If the feet weren't painted, something I could easily do, but will I? We'll see. But yeah, like I said, both of those flip up. They don't have any kind of launching thing on them. You can just put blast effects on them. But that is, I do kind of miss when you can actually launch stuff out of your transformers and do different cool things like that. And even, like I said, this one does have those features and the two swords. So, I mean, this one's still not like it's bad. It's just too small. Like, it's still a very great figure. But if you want to display them with, like, if you just want a star stream, an Armada star stream, this is still pretty good. But if you want to display them with other figures, Speaking of that, let's get into size comparisons. Like I said, new and old. I'm going to be comparing them to original Armada toys as well as some new ones as well. So here is Demolisher right there. That's what he's looking like with them. Still looks pretty good. I know we're probably going to get all updates. All of these are going to eventually just get replaced with new ones, but it is pretty nice to see. And then after I get to these, then I'll show the animation model, but it's that I have a lot of size comparisons to show here just to make sure everything looks good. So let's push him back there. That's Armada Thrust. And then we have Massive Megatron. He has a lot of mini cons on him right now. I didn't want to just take him off for the sake of the video. Let's put him behind back there. So he still looks like he's not too small to where he looks bad with the original figures. This still looks amazing to me with the original figures on the shelf. And he'll take up less space on the shelf with your original figures because that whole back part folds down. And that also kind of gives him the shoulder pylons of the <clears throat> G1 Starscream and many other incarnations of Starscream. So there's Armada Thrust. And I'll also put the Deluxe one next to Armada Thrust since they're both like the Jets. And then that was a Deluxe and that was a Deluxe. It is, it's, it's pretty sad that he was smaller than the Thrust. I kind of was hoping that this, when I got that back, that it was going to be at least... A little bit bigger than thrust there but that was not the case 
but the new one is. So he looks great with the original figures, and I'm sure he's going to look great if he doesn't want to freaking fall over. Compared to the new releases that they eventually reveal and release. So yes, if you have any, any qualms about him fitting in with the original ones, he still fits in pretty good. And then let's get to the animation model here, and then we'll get into that comparison. So there he is next to Demolisher in the animation. Like I just showed you, I still think he looks good next to him. And then here he is compared to that. So he has a lot of the details that he needs to be accurate to the show. And he still is very good. Like I said, this is a little bit toned down in stylization from the Generations version. And one sad omission, like I said, is that upper thigh area that conjoins to the pelvis area. That is definitely detail that was on all the other things. It is sadly omitted on this one and the mini ports, but that wasn't usually in the animation model besides the one on the back. So I guess I can forgive it. But I mean, even the Generations Deluxe one over here has mini ports on the arm, even though it looks weird with him being a Deluxe and they're like so big. And then the mini con on him would be like gigantic on his arm like that. But yeah. So this has a freaking more mini con ports than the new one now. So that's the thing. And I mean, the light piping, it does work pretty good. It looks pretty cool, pretty piercing. So I'm still probably gonna keep this. I'll probably have them displayed somewhere else. So there's still a place for it in my collection. Let's move these size comparisons out and then get to some of the new size comparisons. I know this is a long video. I still have to compare all the alt modes. Hopefully you're staying tuned for this, but I just really wanted to do this comparison. I think it's an important one to do because a lot of people have a lot of questions about this Mod of Star screen. So there is Earthrise. Let me get this more organized here momentarily. Earthrise Starscream compared to Armada Starscream. It is really awesome to see these next to each other. These are both great interpretations of, well, I mean, one's not even an interpretation of the character. One's the original freaking character. And then another iteration of the character that was great as well. So yeah, let's put that up. So that's what that's looking like together there next to Armada Starscream. Let's just leave the other ones off to the side and grab... Oh wait, no, that's for alt mode. We'll show that later in alt mode. Here he is also just next to the Deluxe. I'll be doing a video about him. I still have some other things to 3D print for him. But yes, that's enough of that. Let's get into the alt modes. I will attempt to just transform this on camera real quick. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. So just transforming the latest Legacy one on camera. I do love that the arms panels flip down like that. They are just black and then they're painted not only gray and then red. So, I mean, this guy does have a, a lot of paint on him and he is very articulated. So I do, I think the price point's fair for him. There's just a few strange omissions. I really wish they could have uh, still worked into this. That would have been great to see. You also have these panels that flip out on the back of the legs. That's pretty nice to see. So they're not just massive hollow things. I mean, they probably could still get away with stuff like that, you know? It's sad to see, but they probably could have, and people still would have bought the figure. But I'm glad they took some extra steps here. And looks like that all just flips down. The wings flip up. Oh, that joint needs to be flipped down first. And then the wings here. Come on. Don't fight me. Let's go. Let's go. Tab in there correctly. Well, they don't even really tab in. They just have to sit together correctly right there. And then I bet the wings and all that, that's why those are double jointed. So they could probably just sit right on top of each other like that for transformation. But it is great to see double jointed for him. Just really wish he had wrist rotation considering how he's a swordsman. In the Armada show, would have been great to see. Would have been great to see. And his head, where does his freaking head go? Where does his head go? Gotta pull down, it probably just flips face down. Get in there. Oh yeah, and there's a panel that's gonna flip up over that once I freaking get that down there. I know there's probably the order of operations and all that, but like this is just how I'm doing it. That piece of red plastic there looks really low quality, man. Yeah, the, the plastic quality on this guy is a kind of a noticeable step down, but he does do a lot. I mean, I'm trying to forgive certain things on him, but just sad to see on some of this thing. Because I really thought this was going to be a knock out of the park. And it is very good. Definitely a nice iteration of Armada Starscream to have. As that literally just popped off with like no effort. I still have to piece the clips together. I'll have this transformed up and all the other ones transformed up. Compare them 
All right, got all three transformed up and in their alt modes. I will say the new one had some issues. This popped off with like literally no effort at all. And he was actually misassembled on my copy. One of the, like you saw that leg popped off. The other leg wasn't pushed in properly on there. So I had to pop that off. It's kind of weird. You, you'll see what I mean. The mushroom peg system didn't, it wasn't pegged in properly, but. If you have that on your copy, you'll know exactly what I mean, but yeah, those tabbed together. Like I said, that piece popped off right there, pops right back in, but yeah, just something to note. That detail is cool. None of the others have that detail back there where that fills that gap and has like more thrusters on the back. Yes, none of those have that. They all kind of share a similar transformation scheme, like the legs kind of flip in in the same way. I will say the Generations one was kind of the most annoying to transform for some reason because the arms were trying to like fight me. They're so weird. They have the molded in detail for the wings to be like that. And then they also have the molded in detail for the wings to be like that in robot mode. So that was definitely strange on that. He does still have the landing gear though that flips out. And that's something the new one does not have anywhere. No landing gear whatsoever. So he's just rubbing up on himself on the ground here. This freaking rolls with freaking pinned in wheels better than pretty much any deluxe modern car or any modern transformer. A plane rolls way better. It rolls superbly. Definitely strange. There's also another play feature here in robot mode, or not in robot mode, in jet mode on the original. So yeah, you can just see it is, it's like the sizing, like, <laughs> it's just funny to see. So yes, you can see the mini con, he will clip in down there and then and then, damn it. Yeah, he pops off when you push down the canopy on there. So that was definitely cool. There was definitely a lot of integration with the Minicon. That's just, it's just missing from the other releases of this. So this original toy is still pretty cool. He does just have the straight up black cockpit. He does have the blue cockpit. And then this has a trans clear yellow cockpit. So I will say that this is probably the most animation accurate in some, some ways. And then these plastic fins, our actual plastic fins, the original one was actually rubberized. This one was actual plastic fins, except they don't flip in. So, I don't know. Like I said, this is not a straight up scale of this, but they probably learned a lot from this for this figure. I mean, they've learned a lot from each iteration here because they all transform pretty similarly. So yes, there they are in alt modes here. And you can see, and you can see that emission of the gray paint on the shoulders there on the original. Definitely kind of makes the wings look a little bit stranger in vehicle mode definitely strange but all of them look pretty decent uh and accurate like i said none of these are like this one is the most stylized out of these but he's still accurate enough and uh yeah there's all three of them in alt modes that's what their sizes are looking like and then i'm also going to compare them to cyclonus in alt mode as well and this has the ear piercing sound of that but it's still a pretty cool feature nonetheless so that's what they're looking like helicopter and a plane looks pretty decent next to the original one there i had a blast effect that fell out of there i just put those blast effects in there because i got the missiles in a bag but that looks cool on there so yeah there's that and that let's flip this around here and just get into some more of the details here like i said all of these this has wings that are articulated they go like in for robot mode and then they pop out for vehicle mode i really thought that this one was going to have it because they use the separate plastic color piece but no those are actually just fixed in place in both modes on the new legacy one it is kind of a shame though if you do just have this displayed you could easily rub off that painted detail on the bottom so just be careful about that and like i said it just it does suck there's like no spring mechanisms no launching things no mini comports <coughs> on the fi on the figure but yeah, all of them look pretty decent, but the new one does a good job of the alt mode. No landing gear though, so just another strange emission holding this back from being great. I'm sure that eventually they'll do Armada Masterpiece toys, well not toys, co adult collectibles. Uh, yeah, so there they are. That's enough in alt mode. And then here is the animation model for the video game. He was just a little bit, he had some like wear and tear on him. I might actually just paint up the original toy to be my game version now. Since, I mean, he's pretty similar. I pretty much would just have to add the red on the feet and add some like battle damage to him. But 
cool nonetheless. There he is in jet mode transforming from the cartoon. So all of them are relatively accurate to that. How the arms are still visible like that with the hands flipped in as kind of like intakes, I guess. So yeah, all of them are pretty good. This panel on the new one though does kind of piss me off. Not only does it just look really low quality, it likes to just immediately pop down anytime you pick this guy up. And also that is this whole nose cone part. Looks like it's molded in black plastic and painted red. The paint matching is pretty solid, but you can definitely notice it in different lightings that that's not just a red piece with the black painted there. It's a black piece with the red painted on it instead. Well, yeah, there's that. I, I do like, there's still something to like about all three of these, but if you don't have any of these figures and you want an Armada Starscream, the new Legacy one does handle what you would want it to do largely besides the Minicon, but if they don't end up doing like three packs of like Minicons or core class Minicons, I will be like 3D print designing and making Minicons or they'll probably have like upgrade kits or something, but that's something I'll put on the list to do. I have the capability and there's a lot of projects that I'm working on right now, but I'll get to it eventually if they don't. So there you go. Yeah, I just, there is something about that. It just rolls so good. Like, I know jets aren't supposed to roll, but there's just something to be said about that. So there you go. If you're new, watch the videos, decide if you want to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Please be sure to drop a like, drop comments. I read them all. Have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye. Also, something to note on jet mode, the original plane nose points down. It does not on the other two, the Generations and the Legacy. They both are just straight arrow. But I kind of, I think that the animation was kind of angled down on the jet like that. I don't, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but no, that does not push up to be straight. That might bother you. It doesn't really bother me too much on that. But yeah, he has the Decepticon symbols molded in on the arm, but unpainted. He does not. He just has the ports right where that was supposed to be. And then, like I said, he has the little detail on there, but no Decepticon symbol molded in. And he has a Minicon ports. So there's just a little bit more prepared in vehicle mode to throw in. I'm going to throw this in real quick. Also, this has an awesome feature of the head popping up when you transform it. That's really cool. I want to say that was also in the intro of Armada or something like that. And then I also wanted to throw in a really kind of close detail look of all the head sculpts as that falls over because I only partially transformed it. But all of them are pretty dang spot on. The new one has a couple paint mess ups on it. Top is not painted the greatest. Like I said, this guy kind of feels like a KO. Not going to lie, the Legacy one kind of feels like a KO. But yeah, there's that. The eyes are just painted. And like I said, this has the light piping on the eyes. But all the head sculpts look good. All of them look like Starscream. Also, pretty sure that this was supposed to be metally pinned in. Metally. Have a metal pin through there, but it does not. That's probably just cost cutting on there. Or this is literally just misassembled and it doesn't have what it's supposed to have. So yeah, that clearly, you can obviously tell that that was supposed to be a metal pin in there. I'm not even going to lie. The QC on this guy, the paint job on this guy. I mean, I'm glad that that paint detailing is there, but man, it's just not put on there the best. That's not even scratched. That's literally just how it came out of the box. It's very painted on there thinly. The plastic quality seems to be lower on this guy. You can just, you can tell by feeling him and like, it's sad to see, man. I really wanted this to be amazing. I mean, check out these stress marks right Right on him, right there on the elbow there. Already just major stress marks. I, I want to say it was probably like that out of the box. Very easily could have been. But hey, I mean, I haven't been playing with him hard. I've literally only transformed him. So yeah. Oh, be aware. Be aware. He looks great. He's pretty good in the modes. But man, QC on him. It's kind of being a letdown right now after the honeymoon phase is already wearing off. Two other things to throw in really quick here. He does have waist rotation. I forgot to say that in the other video. The other two do not. And on the original Armada toy, they could have done a very simple fix that would have made it more accurate in both modes and they would have had to have used less paint. They could have just not painted the inside of this part red and just painted the out part red on that. That would have been easier to do and they would have had to use less paint. Thrilling 30. Legacy. Original Armada. Compared.